Okay, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm actually going to um, be discussing my collection and where I'm at with it. So I'm only doing this because um, more towards the beginning of the year, I made videos discussing my collection. And at that point in time, I was struggling a lot and um, just trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my collection. And I've kind of passed that point and now I feel like I'm in a lot better of a place with my collection. So I'm looking at my spreadsheet right now and assuming everything on it is correct and updated, um, it says that there's only 23 albums that I need or want and that number is probably the lowest it's ever been and it's definitely a lot lower than it was um, like at the beginning of the year. Like generally, I'm really happy with it. I feel like I have my collection like under control now. Um, before I was just, I felt like I had so many things going on in so many different directions. Um, since then, I've taken the time to kind of, kind of take things back a step. Like I, like I took, took a step back and kind of evaluated like everything. I literally went through um, group by group and asked myself if I still wanted to collect them and it got me to a really good point. There was just a whole bunch of groups before that like I, w I was still technically collecting but I hadn't added to the collection in months to years and um, I finally kind of let those things go. It's allowed me to kind of you know take some new steps with my collection. Um, I was able to start collecting new groups like all the groups that have come out like post 101 so like you know all their solos and group activities and stuff I was really easily able to collect and keep up with all of those things and um, That makes me really happy because that was a huge priority for me this year But you know there's also like other groups that I was able to start collecting without really having to worry about it too much like um, Itzy for example um, I started collecting them and I also started collecting 100% which has been kind of something I've been thinking about doing since probably about 2016. So I'm really happy that I'm at the point now where I'm able to do that because I've liked 100% for a really long time and I never gave myself the opportunity to buy their albums. So yeah, um, and like in general, I feel really good about my collection mostly because I've been able to keep up with a lot of the new releases this year and I don't really have much to go back and buy. Um, you know, there's still albums from like some older groups that I collect that I don't have, but for the most part, I don't feel too stressed about having to go back and buy stuff from a group's older discography. And I'm just a lot more able to just keep up with new releases that are coming out. And on my spreadsheet, um, I have the, like a 2019 new releases sheet. I don't know if any of you have watched that video, but um, that's what I'm referencing right now if you saw that, but, um, I have everything filled out through the month of August, and I have every single new release I wanted from this year except one, and, um, I don't necessarily know if I really want to get that or not, so, like, for the most part, I'm completely caught up for this year, and anything else I need to buy from this point onwards is either a new release or, like, a low priority. So that is so much of why I feel like I'm at a good place with my collection, and, I feel like this is a long time coming and I feel like I spent a lot of time trying to get to this point and I feel, I just in general feel really good about my collection right now and that's not something I could say like six months ago. Um, I don't even know if that's something I could ever say ever since I did start collecting so it's really nice and really different to kind of feel good about my collection and not kind of feeling stressed about when I'm going to get this, when I'm going to get that. Um, when I'm gonna complete this and you know everything like that and you know it's just given me a lot more freedom of choosing what I want to do with my collection and I feel like I don't have to stick to such strict rules anymore and like of course I still have my rules for myself but it's like if I want to start collecting a certain group I can do it if I want to start collecting uh, maybe full group photo cards for a certain group I can try it out um, and that just feels really nice especially just because I feel like I'm overall just able to do a lot more things that I want to do with my collection. Um, 
instead of worrying about other things that don't necessarily matter as much so and one big thing I wanted to discuss in this video is am I collecting X1 so I made a video talking about X1 a little bit um, not so much X1 as it was talking about obtention but um, I made that video I talked about X1 very briefly and since they've debuted and everything um, I've come to the conclusion that I do really want to collect X1 and I do plan to collect X1 um, but it's like a huge kind of if maybe kind of um, so my main thing with my X1 collection is that I never want to be stressed about it um, so I've talked about this so much and it's especially a big topic of discussion in the earlier videos I made about kind of just sitting here discussing my collection like this but it's um, like I don't want to have to drop every single other aspect of my collection just to collect X1 because that's exactly what I did with 101 and it's exactly what kind of threw me off everything um, and I don't necessarily regret collecting 101 in that way but I don't want to think I have to collect X1 that way because like if I'm being honest I don't have the same connection with X1 as I did with 101 so that's just like why I don't want to overwhelm myself and why I don't want to do too much with it it's just because I loved 101 a lot I collected everything of theirs and I had a lot of fun doing it but like with X1 I just don't want it to be like that and if it gets to that point I want to make sure I know to kind of take a step back and that I don't need to have everything because um, I do plan to collect um, you know like physical releases and I of course want to collect Hangil who is my bias but it's like even just with like album stuff and I guess kind of official other like physical releases say like DVDs photo books those things are easy no problem things outside of that is what kind of makes me nervous because I do want to collect Hangil's extra merch and even with um, like their Shokan goods with you know their Shokan that just happened um, that was something that was actually kind of stressing me out a little bit and I had to kind of take a step back and realize that I don't necessarily need it and if it comes to a certain point that I can get them without too much of a hassle or too much stress that I can get them but otherwise I don't need them and um, I told myself if there was online sale for I told myself if there was online sale for the goods that I would buy the certain ones that I wanted and then I would of course you know sell the members of the ones I don't collect and like luckily enough for me there was online sale and I did end up buying them like in any other case like if there wasn't online sale and there weren't people selling Hangil's set of stuff for like a good price um, I wouldn't buy them and that that was something I really had to take into consideration because I was already kind of stressing about it and I was like this really doesn't need to be this way like I don't need to stress this much about it so yeah like my X1 collection overall like it's something I'm just taking kind of step by step because I don't need X1 to throw me off as much as 101 did so basically I'm just trying my best here yeah it's really hard because as much as I love X1 Hangil is kind of like a top bias for me and so there's kind of conflict there x1 isn't like a top group for me but hangul is someone that i want to support like i've been following hangul since the unit and um like he's been through a lot i feel like he deserves everything so of course i want to support him um all that being said though i kind of hope the rest of the year isn't too heavy on releases because work for me is slowing down a lot and i feel like if there's a whole bunch of releases in the next few months of me being like basically jobless I won't be able to keep up very well okay anyways I think that was everything I kind of wanted to discuss um, so um, basically from this point onwards you'll be seeing more 100% stuff um, albums they obviously aren't gonna be coming out with any new albums most of them are enlisted or are enlisting but I am trying to go back and get their older older albums for cheap and um, you'll see, of course, X1, like I talked about, 101 members, and stuff like that. Let's hope that I stay in as good of a place with my collection as I am right now for at least the rest of the year. That would be really nice. Um, but yeah, that was everything. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.